Every time she talks, it scares the crap out of me. Welcome back, Laggers, to another episode of The Town of Light. And this time, we're going to go through chapters and then chapter 5. Before that, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in again. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day. I'm having a pretty eventful day, actually. To, to start things off, my girlfriend woke me up at 4 o'clock in the morning with some contractions and they didn't go to sleep so I ended up not going to work so I made some videos for you guys today which is always a good thing it's always fun but yeah my videos are going to slowly start to taper down from one a day to about twice a week sadly but surely it will happen but I'm not going to forget about you guys hopefully you guys don't forget about me the videos will go up I do have videos made but they just won't be as frequent anymore so if you guys get bored I'm gonna start trying to do one on like Monday and one on Friday or Tuesday. There will, I, it's gonna be sporadic. It's whenever I can with my son coming, but more or less, it's gonna just be. There will be two videos a week. I can promise you guys that. But man, this thing's taking forever to load. So we're gonna wait, and I don't want to get waste you guys' time with this. Okay, guys. So we're back, and oh, a little bit laggy. So, we're back. Whoa. What was that? What is this? No. What is that? Oh. Uh-oh. No, the lag. This game's pretty buggy, actually. It takes forever to load things. Oh, there it goes. 12th March, 1938. Renee T, 16 years old, Menarche at the age of 12, housewife, father unknown, mother a seamstress, admitted for observation yesterday morning from Pontedera, accompanied by a police officer authorized by the examining magistrate of the court of Pisa to be admitted for psychiatric evaluation, which has been executed by me. Ooh, Medical certificate. Mental illness preceded by warning signs. Has suffered from depression for a year, believing she has tuberculosis. Food deprivation. What? We shouldn't read this document. It's forbidden. We mustn't. If they find out, there will be trouble. Read it. Uh, it all talks about Renee. It talks about you. This is the first choice we get to make. Oh, don't be scared. Nothing will happen. Uh... Read it. Have you ever wondered who you are? Yes, you must have wondered. Read it. Uh, have you ever wondered who you are? Yes, you must have wondered. A relative, maybe your child. It doesn't matter, I'm here for you. Yeah. Will you help me to understand? To escape this dazzling light inside me that stops me from seeing? Don't frighten me, I beg you. I want to understand. Don't mock me. Forget this document. Let's look for Amara. She'll know. Come on, let's get a move on. Go on. Ooh, we're on chapter five. Oh, that's music. So that, oh, that's what that door was. Okay, so that door unlocked. This door unlocked, too. Ooh. What's over here? What's that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. June 1935. After much theorizing and practice in clinics for the privilege, the moment to act has finally arrived. Volterra is the right place. It's an avant-garde hospital, the perfect place for a doctor who wants to contribute the change. 20th November. Crossing the threshold of the asylum was similar to entering into another dimension. A world of smells, noises, an image which it is not easy to imagine, describe, or explain. August 1936. The situation is similar to that in many other institutions. The department is overcrowded. Hundreds of patients are supervised by a handful of nurses, who are forced to tie the more agitated ones to their beds or to radiators. 
They do 24-hour shifts. It's impossible to work like this. We doctors rarely see the female patients. It's the nurses who tell us what's happening to the To the what? Nineteen thirty-seven. The period. Okay, let's not read that. We don't need to read that anymore. Thank you, Renee, for reading. But you read too slow for lags, for chicken lags. Because right. um, that's where we found the dolly. No, don't go there. Went to the gynecology ward. Ooh, that gave me goosebumps, guys. Oof, oof, oof. All right, is this door locked? Okay, so we can't go upstairs any further. There's the dolly. The creepy dolly. Where should we go next? We can go in here. Okay, we already went in here. We read that paper. Oh yeah, we should go to 13, the nurse's room. Where is 13? But we can't get through the door. Two, we just went to surgeries. Can't get to that side. We can't go that way either. There's five radiology right there. Maybe we should go downstairs? Because we can't go over to these doors. Ready went there. Went there. We gotta be missing something. We went in here. We gotta get through those doors. How do we get through those doors? That's what we gotta figure out. Okay, let's go back downstairs. Let's see what's downstairs. Okay, here's a map. Alright, so you are there. Uh, don't need to go to mission 7, Tranquil Ward. It's power 8, Observation Ward. Should we go in that way now? Ooh, hey, we can go outside. Let's go outside. This is the road we used to take. Oh, man, every time she talks, it scares the crap out of me. Oh, man, oh, man. If she hadn't been there, in the park on that bench in spring for all those days. It was like escaping nature. She talked and smiled. And then there were the kitchens. Sometimes we stole something to eat and went straight back to the bench to eat it in secret and we laughed. She did things to me. Sometimes she touched me. In the showers, I felt her body against mine for the first time. What? It was a shiver that warmed my soul. Eyes closed. The light slipped away. Your first lover. Right. She wasn't in the system. He wouldn't let her in. That's it. She must be the key. The key to my memories. To the reasons why. The reasons. Oh, we're at chapter six. All right, guys. We're going to call that a short episode since we're outside and we're exploring a little bit. And I, I want to try and do just do a couple more videos of this one. But I want to thank you guys for tuning in, checking it out with me. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. This game's a little freaky when you play it in the dark. Just saying. And, yeah, goosebumps, and then sometimes you hear random things running around, and it scares the poop out of you. 
Makes you it like uh, scary, scary, scary. But yeah, guys, just want to thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like. And yeah, we'll see you on the next episode of The Town of Light.